Hello, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. How you doing? How you doing? Okay. Hi, I'm going to do a reading for the collective of Virgo. Um, thank you for joining just small tarot if you're new. Um, if you're not, haven't subscribed and you're new, my name's Lauren. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you're new here. You're more than welcome to. I know you're not obligated, so it's nice to have company. <laughs> it's nice to have you. Okay. I'm going to close my door. My kids watch YouTube and everything really loud. So it's like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> Okay. So, hello. Okay, so Virgo, we're going to do um, a love spread. Okay, we're going to see what's coming out here for you and your person. Um, I think I'm going to do something different than what I've done with all my other um, uh, reads that I've done so far. So, I'm going to see um, on this side. Oh, God. My ring. <sighs> I took a shower and I took it off. Okay. Anyway, oops. Um, okay. This side will be you and this side will be this person. Okay. Whoever you're dealing with, whoever you could be dealing with or connecting with. I want to try something different because I always end up getting like, you know, I kind of like to switch things up a bit. First, we're going to see what the person you're dealing with or connecting with has to say to you. What does this person need to say to Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Spirit. What does this person need to say to Virgo that Virgo is connecting with at this time? Cross watchers, you're more than welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. I would be grateful. Okay, let me see. Ew, I got a lot of cards here. Let me take out a little bit of those. Okay. So it says, I want revenge. I believe it will make me feel better. I got this out for another reading for another, um, I believe it was Taurus. So Earth signs might be going through the same thing. I've not changed my ways. I want to keep up the same shit. Okay, so someone here obviously wants revenge against you. Or this is you, Virgo, wanting revenge against someone else. But someone has still not changed their ways. I kept your panties. <laughs> wow. Okay, somebody kept someone's boxers or undergarments, their panties. Somebody kept something that didn't belong to someone. So, ring and engagement. So someone's wanting to, to for you to propose, or they know that you are engaged, or something. Mm. And then here at the top of the thing, I do not trust you. Hmm. So we all know that trust is a very important part inside a relationship. So it's whoever you're connecting with. I'm not saying it's not going to work, but there is a bit a slim chance that it would because of the way. Let's get a card for the I want revenge. I believe it'll make me feel better. Let me start trying that. Let me see if I can get, um, I just only wanted one, but I guess we got three here. Okay. We got three of pentacles, five of pentacles, and the temperance in the reverse. You can't see the temperance in the reverse, so I'll just set it right there next to it. Okay. So, Virgo, um, you left someone out in the cold. Someone left you out in the cold, or you left someone out in the cold. But whomever it is, they're stuck. We got the revert. We got the hangman in the um, bottom of the deck. Whoever you left out in the cold is stuck. They feel like you are. Um, they're unbalanced. They're unbalanced and they're impatient, and they feel that you are working with or collaborating with someone else in a stable commitment elsewhere. Got the Three of Pentacles. This could have been a third party situation. You might have been known this person before as someone you connected with, but whoever is wanting to speak these messages to you, Virgo, whether this you be to the Cross Watcher or they or this to Virgo, but someone here is impatient of a collaboration that they want to see end. They want to see you leave someone out in the cold because you left them out in the cold. Okay? So they want revenge. Um, and I don't know. I just started tossing cards and then this is in the reverse. Six of Pentacles. So someone's wanting you to um, leave someone else out in the cold and not give to the other person. Someone wants revenge. It says, I believe it will make me feel better. So somebody's pissed because you left them out in the cold. And you're collaborating with someone else, Virgo. Okay? 
I'm not saying that. This is what this person's saying. It says, I want revenge and I believe it will make me feel better. So this person is, a. Um, they're upset, okay? They're upset maybe because you moved on, okay? Maybe you guys had a little committed relationship at one point or something, or they might have done something to you that caused you to leave them out in the cold because they were... You had a relationship that was stable with this person. It was unbalanced, so you left them out in the cold. You decided to close off the chapter. You didn't want to deal with it no more. So you decided to start collaborating with someone else. But this person is wanting you to, they want revenge. They want well, whoever you're collaborating with or building a foundation with, they want you to not give to that person anymore. And they want to make sure that you are in the cold, out in the cold this time. They want whatever you have going to fall apart. That's exactly what I'm getting from these cards alone here. I want revenge. I believe it will make me feel better. So whoever you're dealing with, Virgo, um, a little immature, tightly, t a tiny bit, tiny bit immature. I'm not going to lie, but they are pissed. They're a little upset because you, um, because it seems that you've, uh, you've healed and moved on they're feeling unbalanced they're feeling like they haven't you know you left them out in the cold you know now you're working and collaborating with someone else and they're not liking the fact that you're giving to other to someone else maybe this was a third party situation virgo and you decided that you were going to drop someone because of their imbalance so you decide to leave them out in the cold and you went along with someone else and collaborated see there could have been three people here and you made a decision to go with another person and they're pissed off about that because as you're collaborating with this other person the six of pentacles is in the reverse for the simple fact you're not giving to two people sometimes this could mean giving to two i see the guy clearly trying to give to two but it also could mean wanting to help wanting to reciprocate you know give and take that but i'm getting this as someone seeing that you're no longer giving to them in the situation so they're pissed you're making something happen with someone else. You're no longer giving to a third party. And they are upset because you have them out in the cold. So they want you to feel unbalanced and, and you be felt out in the cold and someone not giving to you any longer. Virgo, if that made sense that quick for you. But this is how I'm addressing this card. I want revenge and I believe it will make me feel better. That's what your person's saying as of now. Virgo, whether that be you or the person you're dealing with. A little tiny immature, but I can, you know, hey... To each his own, you know what I'm saying? To each his own, okay? To each his own. Let me see. I got these cards here. I'm going to move those out the way. All right, so we got... Um, uh, I've changed my ways. I have not changed my ways. I want to keep up the same shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Virgo, so let's see. Whether that be you. Ah, so this first card got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So somebody is still um, in the same energy as they were when you were with them or you were around them. Whatever caused you to separate from this person, Virgo, it has caused this either them or you. They, the same thing that they were doing before that caused this. Normally, this is like an ending, okay? This is like an ending. This is kind of like betrayal, you know. It's it's the end of something. It's coming to an end. You're getting over the situation. But in the reverse, to me as a reader, this means that I'm not quite done stabbing you yet. So, we're not having an ending until I continue to keep doing the bullshit that I've done before to cause the first couple knives to be in your back. Me as a reader. I'm not every other reader. So please, if you don't agree, I'm sorry. If there's other tarot readers watching this video, I'm sorry. But that's how I see this card. Um, but yeah, somebody says, I've not changed my ways. I want to keep up the same shit. So whatever Virgo somebody did to you that hurt you and that caused you to feel pain, they're still wanting to do that. There's the, I mean, not wanting to do that, but they're not, they haven't changed. They want to keep up the same person that they have been. Whatever caused you to let go of someone and leave them out in the cold and go off with another person and collaborate with them instead of this person here, they're, they haven't really changed. They see you. They want revenge, you know, but they, they haven't changed their ways. You know what I mean? So they're upset because you left. You turned your back. This could have been a third-party situation, not meaning that you were dealing with two people at the same time, but maybe you were kind of talking to somebody while something else was falling apart or you were getting over something else. And someone had the persona that, hey, Virgo's coming back to me. I ain't got nothing to worry about. So, but Virgo said, uh-uh, no, I'm going to kind of drop you and see this other person. I'm going to have to just, you know, move on about my business. I can't, I can't bring both. 
So somebody's feeling left out in the cold here and they want revenge. Someone hasn't changed. Let's see. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Someone has not changed. I want to keep up the same shit. Somebody wants to... Um, you want the truth, Virgo. You want clarity. You know, you want somebody to be honest with you. Okay, this is the Ace of Swords right underneath the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So you want somebody to be honest with you. You want somebody to actually give you clarity on what the hell they've been doing. Why they cannot change. You know, why can't you be... You know what I'm saying? Like, why can't you be faithful or why can't you cooperate with me? Why can't we work together in a, in a proper manner? Why can't we be like a normal freaking couple? Why can't we do this? Why is it so hard for you to want to change the change your ways from us even having this ending? But someone does not want to change their ways. And I think it has a lot to do with the truth, the clarity that they need to give you. I think that you're you're seeking clarity, Virgo, or cross watcher. Someone here is seeking clarity. They're seeking the truth. Okay, and maybe at the time, you know, somebody didn't even get the clear truth. So they're like, you know what, I'm going about my business. I'm going to collaborate with somebody else. I ain't going to give to you no more. I'm not going to give this connection. I'm not going to give my energy. I'm done. So somebody's pissed off about that. And obviously they haven't changed because, you know, they're still, they're still, this 10 is still not an indie. They're, they're still not done, you know? I mean, and they, and they want to make you feel like they're done. They want to give you that, that. You know, they want to give you that, um, they want to give you that, uh, God, what is the word I'm looking for? They want to give you that impression, right? Okay. But I don't think they are. I think there's still, there's still more that's going to happen or go on if you come back or deal with this person again, Virgo. For the Virgos I'm speaking with, you are probably inside a third party situation. I don't mean that it has to be you dealing with two people, sleeping with two people in a relationship with two people. No, you are probably getting rid of another relationship. You guys were on the outs in another relationship. And what happened was you started collaborating and talking with someone else. You guys were just kind of kicking it, talking, you know, whatever. You let this person know, look, I'm still, um, I just got over a breakup, that type of thing. And this person that you were getting over a breakup from or getting away from, they thought you were coming back. They thought you guys were going to come back together and y'all were going to keep up with the same toxic bullshit. Obviously, no. Virgo said, uh-uh, shutting you out. I got to let you go. Because I see somebody else over here that might be a little bit better for me. And obviously, this person, whoever it was, you made the right decision, Virgo. Because Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. This person, we got the Ten. See, this is normally an ending when the when they're upright. Ten and Tens are endings, okay? There is an ending here, but somebody else is not wanting that to end. They're not wanting to put the... They're not wanting to shut the curtains just yet. They still want to... They still want to have a little... Uh, little uh show perhaps let's just say so um let's see i kept your panties huh well virgo somebody's not that pissed off at you they kept your undies so let's see what this is oh three of swords okay the magician in the reverse and then we also have the lovers in the reverse so this is for i kept your panties hmm okay well Virgo, um, I'm honestly going to say that somebody is heartbroken. They they still cry at night. If you look at the Three of Swords right here, if you look at the Three of Swords, they're like, there's like, you know, rain or something. There's clouds and there's rain coming, you know, like water coming down at the background. Someone's crying over your underwear. And it could not just be your panties. It might be something else. It could be your jacket, your sweatshirt, something like that. But somebody, Virgo, you were dealing with or you cut... You recently cut off, maybe not recent, maybe not too long ago, maybe a month, two months ago, two years ago. I mean, shoot, it doesn't matter. Somebody kept something of yours. This card just says panties, but they're heartbroken. They're sad now, you know, but it's weird because I have not changed my ways. I want to keep up the same shit. I want to. Not that I'm, I, I you know, I want to keep up the same shit. I kind of want to keep doing what we've been doing. You know, basically an open relationship is what it kind of sounds like to me. But in, in the lovers in the reverse, someone decided to drop out, you know, because this person thought you guys had a connection. They thought you guys were going to be still like, a, yeah, we're going to be together for a very long time. That's what I'm getting. And they're trying to manifest you back, but it's not working. Their manipulative, way, their manipulative ways are not going to work any longer. They're manipulative. They're... They, ma they manipulate their way into loving people, I feel, Virgo. The person you're dealing with, 
has a way of trying to manipulate their way into people's lives, okay? And this is something that they're used to doing, okay? This person, whoever's speaking to you, Virgo, whatever they're saying, I mean, the magician in the reverse and the lovers in the reverse, I just don't feel like that. And then the heartbreak is in the upright. You know, they're not having a fun time. They're really heartbroken over this, but yet they want revenge because they see that you've moved on to something else or you're, maybe you got a couple suitors and you're not even collaborating with one person or a commitment. You're just out there doing you and they're just like, what about me? You know, their heart's broken. They're sad. But the magician in the reverse and the lovers in the reverse, those are two major arcanas in the reverse with I kept your, <laughs> with I kept your panties. That is a two, that's two major arcanas in the reverse. Okay, two of them. So this person may have been a karmic. You might have been in a karmic connection. Karmics are not just bad people, you guys. Not mean this person's evil. Stay away from them. You have the relationship with them. Now move on with your life. No, this person taught you some lessons. And whatever it was, they're not done wanting to teach you that lesson. A lot of time, karmic partners, um, the ones that are really not help, you know, the ones that teach you lessons, one person ends up learning the lesson and doesn't want to learn that lesson again, so they move forward, and someone is left behind, and they don't want to let go. You know, they're, they're not really uh, wanting to, 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 they're not really spiritually inclined as much as the other person is really, and to understand the journey they're on, you know. So if somebody's obviously sad, they're keeping your panties, or keeping something of yours, I believe. Sweatshirt, could be shoes, socks. I mean, it could be anything. And they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken. That's why they're keeping your things. They're out. They're, it seems like they're kind of, what I get from this vibe of this right here is someone's actually like keeping um, an eye on you. They're obsessed with the heartbreak. Like they're obsessed over you because of the heartbreak. I'm sorry. Let me re rephrase that. Um, they're obsessed with the heartbreak because you stepped off. You're no longer giving to this person. Virgo, they're out in the cold, they were unbalanced, you know, the situation you guys were in were unbalanced, so you decided to just, look, I'm gonna work with something else, do something else, work elsewhere with someone else, I'm not giving to, you, you stop giving to someone, yeah, <clears throat> you stop giving to someone, and the magician and the lovers and the reverse, that to me, Virgo, I think the person sees that you are not wanting this 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 anymore the way it was you're not willing to cooperate or deal with it anymore they're still holding on to you the four pinnacles at the bottom of the deck in the upright they're still holding on to you they have not let go their manifestation you know and the love for themselves is just out of you know this can go many ways okay there's there's many virgos going through different situations but virgo this specific virgos i'm speaking for this person doesn't even know how to manifest they could if they wanted to, but they like to be manipulated instead. Okay, you see that wand when it's in the reverse, it's going downwards instead of upwards. You know, kind of like, you know, not to the heavens, but, you know, the other place, whatever. But it doesn't mean they're using black magic or spell work. That could be a possibility. That could be. You will know your story. But this person is, in, what I see here is manipulative, being manipulative being manipulative in their ways of trying to get people to fall in love with them, to try to get people to stick around. And it's not working like that. Hence why they're heartbroken and they're keeping things of yours because it just did not work out. Virgo, you must have been a really good lover to this person. But for whatever reason, they're not ready to change their ways. I haven't changed. Okay, so whatever reason they have not uh, woke up to the alarm or smelt the coffee... That, you know, in order to have Virgo in my life, I probably need to get my shit together. I don't know why they, I don't know why, but cross watcher, hey, why not? You know, why haven't you, why are you doing this to Virgo? If you want Virgo, you know, okay. all right, all right, let's move on. Ring and engagement. Let's see what we get for ring and engagement. Ring and engagement, spirit, ring and engagement. <sighs> ring and engagement for Virgo, sun and rising and Venus. Hmm. Okay, we got the Four of Wands in the reverse. Okay, let's keep these here. And then we got the Hermit in the reverse. Okay, so if someone's upset. Again, we already know someone's upset, but this person has is has really, really, really 
really wants a commitment with you, but it's not going the way they want it to. Virgo, I feel, and Virgo, this is your card. That's what's crazy. And you're in the reverse. Virgo, dare I say that you might have want, you still probably want this connection. You're just not, you're just not showing your hand. You're not showing, you know, you're not being yourself. You're not really wanting to um, deal with the dissecting. How, how would you say that? Like, you, you, you know, it, it's like, you, you know, you're not wanting to, you're not wanting this commitment type of thing with other people. You want it with this person, but you're having a hard time understanding this person. And this person's having a hard time understanding what this commitment is. Let me tell you guys what I see here. I see someone that really, really wants to make all these cards go into the upright and they want that three of swords to go into the reverse, okay? They want that temperance to go in the upright. So what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling here is that someone needs to come out they're coming out of this hermit mode and they're starting to see that they don't want to deal with a commitment no longer. A ring of engagement. Maybe you were engaged to this person, Virgo. Maybe you were engaged. Maybe you were planning on uh, proposing to this person. But for ring of engagement, we actually have the four of wands in the reverse and then we have the hermit in the reverse. So someone's coming to a realization that, you know, hmm. Or Virgo, dare I say, this can go for many people. I'm so sorry, you guys, because I keep getting different messages. Dare I say that this person that you were dealing with pretended this whole time that they wanted a commitment with you. They wanted the stable home. They wanted the wife, the kids, the husband, the dog, the kid, you know, the, the picket fence. But they don't really want a commitment. They want something to open type of relationship. They want you both to see people outside of one another. Like, they kind of just want things to be open. They don't really want to tie down to one person. But they're heartbroken. And they want revenge because you don't want to put up with this. This is so crazy. Okay. I don't trust you. Huh. All right. Let's see, Virgo. That's strange to me. Ring of engagement comes out with the four of wands in the reverse. And the hermit in the reverse. This person is deeply depressed. That's what I have a feeling because I think that they're really confused. I think that they've been so isolated that they literally have been isolating themselves and it stops them from having healthy commitments. When they're around people, they feel alone. You know, Virgo, whether this is you or the person that you were you were dealing with or are dealing with now, they, they even when they're in a room full of people partying, people are talking with them, conversing, they still feel deeply alone. Because it feels like they might want to have a commitment. Or want to have a stable home. Or they see everybody else doing it. But they don't know how. Hence why we got the temperance in the reverse over here. Because someone's imbalanced. So someone was like, look, I gotta, I gotta let you go. I can't do this. Uh, seven of Swords. In the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Right when I was about to do the shuffle for I do not trust you card. Okay. Maybe someone's wanting to start doing things right. Now, Virgo, this person could not trust you or you could not trust this person. Either way, you will know what side it fits on. When I put these cards out, guys, right here, and I clarify them, what is it? And I put these cards out. Um, doesn't it, it could be you pick whatever side is whatever your side, whatever... This person could be saying this to you, or you could be saying this to someone else. But it seems like a mix. I don't trust you. Ooh. Okay. Oh, the devil. Okay. Someone obviously has a little toxicity going on here. They're probably obsessed. Like I said, someone's up the fool in the reverse. Someone is obsessed with heartbreak. I said that earlier. I feel like someone's just like heartbroken, but they're so obsessed over someone still. They kind of still hold on to their things. They watch their social media. Someone here is trying to heal. Someone here is trying to get their thoughts together, collect themselves. But it just seems like, I don't know. It just says, I do not trust you. And it's because you might be, you might be, t I do not trust you because of your toxic, obsessive ways. 
Someone here might have a sex addiction, an addiction to alcohol, addiction to drugs. I mean, addiction to porn. And it's making someone, you know, I do not trust you. I'm not going to take a leap of faith with you. And someone here is probably feeling like a damn fool at the same time. Because what they could have had, Virgo, what they could have had with you or what you could have had with them could have been something very beautiful. The lovers, the magician, and the four of wands in the reverse. Look at those cards in the reverse. The three of swords and the ace of swords in the upright. We might not be able to make this work. There's too much pain. Okay. That's just something I'm getting there. All right, Virgo. Um, let's pull some romance angels. Okay, and I'm going to close out the reading. That was a good reading. I kind of like the way I just did that. Because I, I did my other uh, signs um, a different way. And I'm kind of like bored of that way I'm doing it. It's, it's boring. But this is kind of more interesting. It gives you more in-depth of what someone might be saying to you. Or what you could be saying to the other person. They may not want to tell you. But they could these cards don't lie and if you notice that i want revenge look at the shit that came out why this person wants revenge and what they want then i haven't changed ten of swords i kept your panties you know someone's heartbroken but they're you know i do not trust you the devil with the fool in the reverse like spirit what do we have here for virgo sun and rising and venus I don't know, you guys. Just seem kind of weird to me. I'm not taking all these cards. I'm going to take two and put two of them back. Okay. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So someone here is needing to forgive. Or someone already here is probably already forgiven and learning. But this person's not seeing that. Or somebody, you, Virgo, or the person you're dealing with, whatever side you're on, is not seeing that. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so if you read that, if you read that, what it says, romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. You're probably Virgo, you or Crosswatcher are probably exploring your love and your feelings, your romantic feelings somewhere else exploring. And someone wants revenge because they want to keep you where they had you. Someone's so used to the toxicity or the way things were going or the obsession you guys had together and they don't want to let that go. They don't want to let it go. But yet they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken because of the, you know, they're obsessed with you. I have a feeling someone just keeps watching someone. They're holding on to things of theirs. And they're pretty upset because they've been left in the cold and they're being you're no longer giving to the situation, Virgo. You are cross watcher. Okay. So Virgo, that's all I have for you today. And I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you for the next time, okay? I hope this all works out for you, okay? <laughs> I hope this all works out for you. I'll see you in the meantime. Bye-bye.